Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Let me get all set up here. Hi, girls. Jan Copeland. I'm excited to bring you this, this training today. It's a little before noon Eastern, a little before 9 a.m. Pacific. And I, hi, Monica. Thanks for joining me. I'm excited to share with you. This is a doing training, doing, D-O-I-N-G. So I recommend that you watch on your cell phone and that you have your laptop available because we're going to go into Zoom. And um, if you don't have a Zoom, or even if you do have a Zoom, um, you want to be able to go onto your laptop while you're watching. So again, my recommendation is to be watching me for this one, uh, for this training session via your cell phone and have your laptop available. So how's everybody doing? Yesterday, I have to admit, it was kind of a weird day for me, kind of an, an anxious day for me, but I still had my coaching calls. I still stood up or showed up, and um, today is a great day. Now, I'm going to be real, and I'm going to share with you that I have a nice shirt on, but I got my nighty bottoms on. If you have your pajamas on, or as some people are calling it, their day pajamas, can you please say, got my day pajamas or got my day PJs in the comments, please, because I want to know. I can't be the only one. But I did do my hair and put some makeup on. Hi, Melissa. Thanks so much for joining me. So we will get started in about a minute. If you're just joining me, whether you're live or on the replay, Please let me know. Hi, Lisa. Let me know if I'm not the only one and you're in your, your day PJs because I just showed you I'm in mine. But I put a nice shirt on. I love this shirt. I love polka dots. All right. Well, we learned in most states, I think except two, that real estate is considered essential. So I'm excited about that because, ladies, there are people right now in your markets whose lease Leases are coming up in May, June, July, August, and their plan was to buy. And so you need to show up in your market online, via email, via text, on your YouTube, okay? You need to show up being the calm, confident person that is saying, hey, I'm still meeting with buyers and we're meeting virtually to get things started. And that's what this is all about. So, as we get started, hi Marilyn. Um, nobody's telling me they're in their PJs. Hmm, interesting. All right. So, I want to be excited that real estate is considered essential. We are still transacting business. Okay. I had a client this morning who got a deal under a house under contract and getting two new listings next week. Um, I had six coaching clients yesterday, and everyone but one is either working with a buyer or has a listing or has something under contract. So ladies, real estate's essential. Please know that you still need to show up. Hi Vanessa, thanks for joining me and Kelly and Jules. Jeans on, but still have the t-shirt on that I slept in. Oh, that's good, Melissa. Well here it's 60, it's gonna be 60 today. So after this live, um, I'm gonna go take a walk. So that's always good. But okay, I wanna share with you a few things and we'll dive right into Zoom. So I'd like you to be watching me on your cell phone and have your laptop available so that we can go through virtual meetings. Um, I think, and um, you know, I'm a real estate coach, so I'm going to share this with you, that if you're working three to four hours of focus time a day, uh, what's going on with my eyebrows, that you will, you will be good. You will be positioning yourself to be, um, to be thriving. And this is the point, ladies. Um, it's not about the hours. It's about the effectiveness. Okay. That's what it's about because in these times when we have kids home or hubby's working from home or significant other, we got dogs and cats and we have to take the dog out all the time. Um, this is a new normal that we have to learn to thrive in. And so right now as, as your coach, I'm sharing with you that if you really focus for three or four hours a day, that will be that which you need to move yourself forward in your business okay so the first thing is is you want to have a routine okay don't sleep in 
until 9, 10, 11 o'clock. Please don't do that. You need to get up, get ready. Um, and because you're going to start scheduling virtual appointments, you need to look good from this up. All right. So, so that's good. And you need to show up. And so you need to be the calm and you need to be the confident and you need to be the certain that real estate is essential. Again, I would really hit hard with those people who are renting and whose laces are coming up um, and talk about how, you know, your buyer process is. But I want you to be showing up in a combination of email, text, uh, video, and posts online. And I do not have send out cards, but I'm a believer because I got, since this started, since I guess maybe two weeks now we're in this coronavirus, I've gotten two amazingly fun cards from friends who are in send out cards. So I think that is um, something that you might want to consider. I am not a member yet. I get no money for you going to send out cards. I'm just saying it's pretty amazing. So Cindy and Amanda and Amanda and Carol, Ruby and Lucy and Kim. Oh, I love all you ladies. Lori and Ann and Donna. Thank you so much for joining me. Rosanna. Um, Vanessa says, no PJs. I was out and about this morning delivering necessities to high-risk people. That's amazing. Thank you for doing that, Vanessa. Kelly says, no PJs here. Shower, dressed, hair done. No makeup today, though. Yeah. It's kind of fun sometimes. You don't have to do that. All right. So virtual appointments are powerful because if you've been following me and watching my videos, I've always been saying connect, connect, connect. And if you have a buyer prospect or a seller prospect, the most important thing you can do is get face to face. Well, guess what? You can still be face to face um, on Zoom. Zoom is like FaceTime, if you don't know what I'm talking about, okay? And, um, and so it's very important to um, still have that be your number one goal, to get face to face. So what Zoom is, picture FaceTime, only you're bigger, Okay, and they're bigger, and you can share your screen. Okay, so on FaceTime, on your cell phone, you can have a conversation with someone, a virtual appointment, but you can't show them a presentation. Okay, um, now you can flip it and you can show them, you know, what's on the other side, you know, in front of you, but you don't have the power to share a presentation, which is why Zoom is um, what kids are using as um, I have a client that I had this morning whose third grader was so excited to be on Zoom yesterday and see all his friends and it's very you know interactive like right now I'm here with you but I know that you can speak via your comments but it's not really two-way Zoom is powerful because it is two-way so it is essentially a face-to-face -face appointment so um, there are some components of a virtual appointment that I want to share with you, and then we're going to do the, zoo the doing. I'm going to um, share with you um, how to set up a Zoom, and um, we're going to walk through it together. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So I have four components of a virtual meeting. The first one is choose what it is. Now, I choose Zoom. Um, if you don't have anything to share, you could do FaceTime, but, I, but it's not as... You know, FaceTime's kind of annoying. You just have this little thing. I really love Zoom, so that's what I'm going to focus on. But you have to choose, you know, your medium or how you're going to facilitate your appointment. Next is share with the person what the agenda is, okay? What they can expect out of your virtual appointment. And quite frankly, you could have a virtual hello, right? You could have a, um, like on Wednesday at noon, if you want in, go to um, my group, She's an Unstoppable Agent, and we're going to meet on Zoom. I think last week we had 17 people, and we all just had a chat, and it just felt good to be together in these times of isolation. So you can use Zoom to have a virtual party, if you will, or a virtual community get-together, and you be that person in your local community to facilitate that. Okay. Don't wait for the Chamber of Commerce to do it. Don't wait for the ladies um, group or networking group to do it. You do it. And I'm going to show you how to facilitate that Zoom meeting and get the link. And then you can put it out there and invite everybody. Right. And it's fun. All right. So you have to have an agenda, what you're going to cover. Um, next, you have to um, figure out the flow of how you are going to be facilitating the Zoom meeting. 
okay? The flow. So if you were going to be meeting with a buyer prospect, for example, um, uh, the flow would be initially is the consult. You're going to share with them what they can expect. You're going to ask them questions through what I call my buyer intake, which if you want it, you know, let me know. Um, which is where you're asking them the questions to find out exactly what they're looking for in this purchase, okay? And, um, and then you move into the actual buying process. And the beautiful thing about Zoom, ladies, is that you can go ahead and share your screen. Now, I have, for my clients, for my one-on-one -on -one clients, I have a, um, a template in, in Canva that I can give you. So clients, let me know if you want it. Which, which is like a timeline of the process. And so you can bring that up on your computer, hit share screen, and now you can walk through it and have a beautifully done visual, right, for your buyer prospect, okay? Then you go into the presentation portion of the appointment. And that is where you would share about your market and what's going on. And you always wanna tell your buyer proactively, hey, you know, homes in your price range usually go under contract within X number of days, and you'll school them on that. You'll school them on the statistic that is list price to sold price, okay, because homes are still going under contract, ladies. Um, if you feel like it's not happening in your market, I assure you it is, okay? Because I have clients from all over the country, and there's not any market um, that is dead, that is, that is dormant, that's not happening, okay? How, in, in, within that portion of the presentation, you would also share how you are protecting them, how you are facilitating either online showings, virtual showings, or if they do wanna go in and, and you're okay with that, what safety measures you are enacting now in these times, which, for an example, might be, um, that you, that you only have you and one other person go in, um, kids are outside, and um, no touching of anything. And if they want to see inside a kitchen cabinet, for example, you're going to have something, you know, gloves on or something so that you're really protecting everyone. And that will actually, again, elevate you as the leader in these times, okay? Being very creative. Um, and also, after the presentation then, um, which would include sharing about buyer agency and, and, you know, the number of, you know, you might even show them, share your screen and show them the MLS and put in their criteria that you got from them in the beginning, the consult portion, and let them see how many homes are under contract in their price range, how many homes are active, and how many, um, you know, um, you know, how many actual homes meet exactly their criteria. And if there aren't enough, then you might say, hmm, could you do with one less bedroom? Could you, um, would you be okay if we go farther out so that we can stay in your price range? You see what I'm saying, ladies? This is all part of a regular buyer prospect consult, but now you're facilitating it online from the comfort of your home and from the comfort of your buyer's home. Okay, do you see the power in that? The last part of the flow component is you ask for the business, right? You are securing business right? Even if they're not ready right now. Like my suggestion would be to um, create a landing page, okay? And, um, and if you need help with that, you know, message me, all right? And in that landing page, you just, you just have um, currently, or what's going on now, um, buyers are still buying houses, and here's how. And it's virtual appointments and virtual showings, and then you capture their name, an email and then maybe you do a video that explains you know maybe a three-minute video that explains your process and how you're protecting them they're gonna put in their name and number and you uh, name and email and you say even if you're not ready to buy for six months to two years get people's emails you're still working okay all right so you ask for the business the fourth component is next steps so you've taken someone through this virtual buyer appointment in this example. What are your next steps? What can they expect from you? What do you expect from them? Okay, and that's just your normal, um, you know, end um, when you're, you know, when you're face to face before all this happened. Okay. 
Um, 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 um. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I had asked you to please be watching me on your cell phone and have your laptop available because the only way that I can train you on Zoom is to do it this way, okay? Because I tried to do a training video and if I'm on Zoom, I can't, I can't do these different things on Zoom myself because I'm already on Zoom and it wouldn't let me do it. So this is the only way that I've creatively figured it out. So get on your cell phone watching me and then grab a laptop. And while you're doing that, I'm going to um, be looking through the comments. Uh, you're welcome, Donna. Hi, Amanda and Cindy. Cindy said it feels like romper room. Yeah, when you're on when you're on um, Zoom with a bunch of people, it does kind of feel like romper room. So, hi, Jackie and Dorothy. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, Donna. Uh, yeah, Donna said I used to wait for my name to be called on Zoom. That's funny. Um, Ooh, Jacqueline Jones. I just downloaded Zoom last night for virtual dance classes. Yes, very good. A lot of people are jumping on the Zoom bandwagon. Michelle, Mary, how you doing? Um, Kat and Emma. Michelle, Vanessa, do practice runs together before we do the... Oh, that's awesome, Monica. Yeah, do a practice runs. Yes. All right. Hi, Judy and Karen, Jane, Karen, Makina, Marcy. Okay, I got you on that, Dorothy. And Mary just joined. Okay, so now I want you to go to zoom.us. Okay, so you're going to go to zoom.us. From there, as who said that? As Jacqueline said, she downloaded Zoom. Okay, so you want to create an account. Now, there are, let me go over here. Let me pull this up. There's a free Zoom, and then there's a Zoom that you pay for. So let me share with you. The free Zoom, um, you have unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings with Zooms, which that's, that's, a, that's really a beautiful thing because that's really all you need. But you can host up to 100 participants, and that's why I was encouraging earlier to be the community leader and, and reach out to your clients and say, hey, let's just get together and chit-chat. Maybe we'll have... Um, you know, wine on Wednesday night, Wednesday wine down, and, and you're just together. Or like I told you, if you go to um, She's an Unstoppable Agent group, you will find the Zoom link, or maybe I'll put it in here when I'm done, for Wednesday, tomorrow at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, where we'll get together, okay? Um, but you have 40-minute limit on group meetings with the free version, okay? So, so you can get... Well, as many one-on-ones as you want. You can host up to 100 participants, free Zoom, um, uh, 40 minutes on group meetings. So um, you get online support, video conferencing features, web conferencing, security, group collaboration features. Okay. But I pay, and let's see what it says. I pay $14.99 a month, and that's the pro. And that, if you, it's cheaper if you buy it by the annual. But that one includes um, more than 100 participants. Um, meeting duration, you can have up to a 24-hour meeting. Now, I know none of us are having 24-hour meetings. But if you wanted to facilitate a buyer seminar, for example, or a seller seminar online, virtually, you could have a two-hour such event, okay? And you could collaborate with a lender, and you could speak part of the time. Your lender could speak part of the time. Do you see how creative you can get with virtual meetings, right? Um, and then you have reporting and scheduler and all kinds of stuff. And you can, you can record to the cloud when you're a pro. So that's why, for, as, a, as a coach, I record my coaching sessions. I need stuff to, rec to record to the cloud. And then they have other ones that are higher than that, which I don't think we really need. But... So once you're on zoom.us and you create an account, okay, so you have your login, you know, you know, join, create an account. Now, um, I'm going to show you, well, I wish I could, but I can't. Um, let me see if I can turn this around. I can kind of, look at my papers. Look at that. See, that's real life, right? Okay, so what you want to do 
this is your um, your home, okay? So when you go over here to the far right, um, you click on that and that'll bring you to this page, okay? It's kind of the home page. Do you see that? Oh, let me see. To the home page, okay? And if you want to schedule a meeting, you'll see in the middle, and I can't keep doing this. I'm going to have to put this down. See this? Schedule a meeting, okay? So when you click on that, let me see if I can make this work. So when you click on that, it's kind of hard to see, but there's nothing. This is why I want you to have your, your laptop. You can say, um, you can say, um, Jane Doe buyer consult. So just name it, whatever you want. You see that where it says topic? Then you go down to where it says when, and I hope that you ladies, I hope that you are on your, um, on your laptop looking at this. Okay. So I can, I can run, run through this. So, um, so then you go to when and you'll see a calendar. So I'm going to schedule an appointment for tomorrow and the calendar comes up. So then you just click on the date of tomorrow and you know whatever time let's just say 3 p.m 3 p.m you have to make sure that your time zone okay your time zone is whatever yours is mine's eastern time okay and then you um, keep going and you can allow the meeting id to be generated automatically that's what populates and let me go back up and say that if you wanted to have a meeting like a weekly meeting with your clients or something you can just click recurring meeting and figure that out okay but your video leave your video on your participants video on and for audio which is the next one just allow both and then you just hit save okay now once you do that you are going to see it says invite attendees and so right here becomes the link, the Zoom link that you can highlight, and then you can email to your clients, right? Hey, meet me here. And, um, and then when you click over here for meetings in the far left, it has all of your, your um, meetings, your appointments, okay? And if you, um, you know, it's great because it keeps track of all of your previous meetings. Okay. So you can see that, you know, who you went, who you had meetings with and everything. So I, you know, so that is essentially, um, how do you zoom? And when you come back, so let's say you made that appointment for tomorrow at, what did we say? 3 PM. So tomorrow at 3 PM, then you would log in zoom.us and you would click on that particular meeting that we named, um, what did we name that meeting? You know, buyer consult, right? You would click on that and then your client would click on it and now you're both seeing each other, okay? So now I'm going to share with you, so that's like bottom line, how to do Zoom. Um, as far as that goes. Now let me just go in and see how everybody's doing. Um, Linda says, our office had our first meeting this morning via Zoom. Awesome. Do you recommend upgrading to Pro? I do. It depends what your goals are for, for, um, for it though. Hi Jody and Mitzi and Kristen. Okay, so Donna says yes on the laptop. Thank you. This is very helpful. Okay, so we have created our Zoom account password email okay we we now have a zoom account right we can go in and um add your picture and you know like i said either keep the free version or upgrade to pro 14.99 a month or cheaper if you buy by the year or if you pay annually by the way or rather um and then we went in and i just told you how to schedule a meeting and then i shared with you once you hit save when you go in and decide on the date and the time, then you go in and hit save and that will populate a link. And then you email that link to your prospect or whoever you're going to be meeting with. Okay.
That's what we've done so far. Um, and if you wanted to facilitate a, a group meeting, a local group meeting, a meetup, if you will, then you could put that Zoom link that populates onto your, your group. If you have a Facebook group, which I highly recommend, a local Facebook group, invite everybody. Or, and you can say that only 100 people can attend because if you have the free version, you can't go higher than 100, okay? Um, or you can private message it out or however, if you have an email list, you can email it out to your past clients if you want to, again, be seen as the leader in the community um, and really get that facilitation of togetherness. But now what I'm going to show you is when you're in a meeting, then how do you share your screen? Now, again, this is extremely difficult and I'm sorry that A, my house is a mess and B, that it's kind of hard to see, but at least I'm sharing this with you. I'm recording this. And so you'll be able to, um, you know, kind of at least hear what I'm saying and then step through because it's really easy. It's super, super easy. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, if you want to have a meeting, let me put this down. If you want to have a meeting, like let's say, let's say you, you didn't make an appointment with George. Okay. But you texted George and said, hey, George, I hope everything's going well for you. Um, you know, if you want to chat, you know, I'm here. I'm having virtual appointments, etc." He's like, great, I'm free now. How about you? And you're like, hmm, how does this work, right? Because I didn't, you know, go in and make an appointment, make set up a meeting. Well, you see over here, um, over here next to your picture or next to, you know, if, if your picture isn't here, it's kind of a gray area. You hit host a meeting with video on. Um, what is this? Oh, you know what? I can't show you this because I'm on my husband's, um, I'm on my husband's uh, laptop here because I'm talking to you on my laptop. So he, he doesn't have a camera on his laptop. How antiquated, right? But it's okay. Cause I do this all the time. I can do it from my top of my brain here. So when you hit join or I'm sorry, when you hit host a meeting, you hit with video on when that happens. Okay. And you can do it now. Cause I asked you to be on your laptop. So in the upper right hand corner, click post a meeting video on. Then you'll see your face and you can wave to yourself. Okay. Then if you bring your cursor to the bottom, you will see closer to the left invite. Okay. And so you click on invite and then, um, you can invite in different ways. I always recommend inviting via email. So if you hit invite via email, boom, It'll bring up, well, for me, it brings up Gmail. And then I put in the person's email and hit send. And then I text them and say, hey, check your email for a link to join me right now. So they should get that email and then they should be able to join you lickety split. Okay. Ladies, this is super easy. Okay. So now you're seeing each other and now you um, can have brought up your, let's say if it's a buyer, your buyer intake form, your, um, your statistics and your buyer presentation, uh, the buyer agency form, and you have your MLS queued up so that, you know, as you go through the presentation, as I explained earlier, so if you missed it, you can watch the replay, you can facilitate an amazing face-to-face -face virtual meeting with a buyer prospect. Okay. And so for the buyer intake part portion, you can either share your screen or just ask the questions. When you're finished that and you get to the presentation section, that's where you definitely want to share your screen. So how do you do that? You take your cursor to the bottom of the screen and you'll see uh, a little green box that says share. So then you hit, you hit that and then it'll bring up a bunch of whatever, however, however many windows you have open, it will populate that. 
and what I always do is I put it on my main desktop and that way whatever I have showing on my desktop they'll be able to see so then you hit share again now whatever is showing on your main desktop they'll see and they will become small and you will become small and what they'll what is big is that which you're sharing so at this point in this example it would be your um, buyer presentation which could be um, you know uh, obviously it could be um, made in Canva to look really good right in brand on brand very important um, you know hey this is how our market is right now maybe some statistics days on average days on market in different price ranges um, average sold to list price in different price ranges okay and then um, you want to you know share proactively about you know the process remember I talked about that so you can have a beautiful Canva timeline that shows them hey this is the actual buyer process and then you can share your screen and move on to the MLS and they can actually watch you put in the criteria that they said they wanted and then you hit send and then you hit enter and guess what if there's only one or two boom you can say look in your price range it's slim pickings and many times what people tell you they initially want isn't what they end up buying right so you can say hmm do you want to go out a little bit farther um, or maybe you gave me a criteria that that you don't really need so we can see if there's any more do you see what I'm saying this ladies is professionalism this ladies demonstrates that you are a leader this demonstrates and solidifies that yes real estate is essential and I this is you talking have taken painstaking care to be sure that I can facilitate business keeping everyone safe okay so I want your feedback um, so let's talk about this so Donna says when we first go to zoom.us do we click opt out of certain cookies and then click up sign for free to me I always accept the cookies because I don't really know what it is so that I can't answer for you um, but yeah you sign up for free because you can always um, I don't know what my thing's doing here. but you can always um, you know change and 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 purchase you know but initially I think you're fine for free all right Jackie says I don't see how to invite people to the meeting okay so when you go in to the main page and then click on the far right where either your picture is or like a gray box where you you know because you can tell it's like your account click on that it will bring you up to a to a main screen on the upper right hand corner it says host a meeting with video on or video off I would hit video on now you'll see yourself now you're starting a meeting when you scroll to the bottom take your cursor to the bottom kind of in the middle a middle to the left and you'll see it'll say invite so you click on invite then you click email that will allow you it brings up Google on mine so I can only tell you about my experience it brings up my Google email when I click on invite via email then I just put in my clients email and hit send I then go ahead and text my client and say hey I just sent you the link to join me I can't wait to see you in a minute that's how that works um, Indiana says I'm not getting the email well even as a free um, a free zoom client they have customer support so you'll want to follow up with them because you should definitely get the email that email will contain the link that you just press on to join the meeting if you're in the meeting and you're sending yourself an email you probably won't get it because you're already in the email you're already in the meeting okay um, okay so Amanda says my email took a bit to come through and it was in my spam so yeah I mean they might go in your spam don't be sorry it looks gorgeous and productive yes oh, Donna you're sweet hello Amanda Moore and Pullen and Grace and Jenny thanks for joining me okay so Donna says super easy and cool Jenny invited someone awesome okay Indiana says I don't get the option at the bottom of the screen hmm Indiana says she can't share her screen 
Indiana. Um, that sounds like your laptop might have um, blocked. So, ladies, some some of you, um, your laptops may have something blocked, and I can't answer that for you, unfortunately. Um, what's the difference? Fidey says, what's the difference between schedule a meeting and host a meeting? So when you're scheduling a meeting, it's for another time. So you could schedule a meeting to practice with your family. Look, maybe your mom is at her house, your brother's at his house, your uncle's at their house, your aunt's at their house. So you can go in and schedule a meeting for tonight at 8 p.m. I did this, I did this with my family last, last Thursday. We all had a, a time together. It was fun. But um, so you hit, you hit um, schedule a meeting. And remember, that's what I went through before, where you say, you know, family time test zoom whatever you want to call it then you go down choose the date so it would be today choose 8 p.m. and then hit save and then it'll automatically populate a link you email that link to any participant that you want to join you in that meeting so that's what schedule a meeting is it's for another time okay not right now if you want a meeting right now then that's when you go to host a meeting so you host a meeting either with video on or video off Video off is you don't want to show your face. Not good. Remember, when we connect, we want to connect. So video on. So that's that. Um, Charlie says, I love it. I have basic, but we'll get pro. I just think pro is, is a cost of doing business, and it gives you much more options. Um, Vanessa, do you know how to change the email that you're using during the invite process? Um, I don't believe that you can. I believe, and I'm not an expert on this, operational stuff but I believe it's whatever your email is when you signed up for zoom so if you don't like that particular email Vanessa you could just create another account Monica great stuff didn't think screen share was an option on zoom free version so one hurdle down yes Monica exactly Karen says I love it Indiana I'm on the iPad okay Indiana that is the that's the problem unfortunately iPad is not considered a laptop so not only on zoom but on other websites I've noticed because I have clients with iPads and I'm like iPads don't give full functionality so you might want to consider a, using a laptop instead of an iPad for zoom okay all right so ladies we have gone for 38 minutes and um, we've gone through a lot if you have liked this can you please share with me, um, you know, something in the comments, okay? Either good information, thank you, something, so I know that it was worth your while. And that's whether you're watching on the replay or whether you're here with me live. I'd really like that. Um, or give me some love, something, so I know that it was useful of your time. Um, I want to remind you of a few things. Um, number one is tomorrow at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. We're having our second weekly community get together. You can go over to um, She's an Unstoppable Agent group, my group, and um, search through and you'll see the Zoom link to join me tomorrow at that for that time. Um, and then Thursday of this week, we are having our every every Thursday at three, I'm doing a um, thank you, ladies. Every Thursday at noon, I'm sorry, Thursday at three or three fifteen. I don't remember what it is, but uh, I think it's Thursday. Well, let me go over here. It's Thursday at, hold on one second. I'm going to tell you what it is. Thursday at 3.15, actually. I apologize. 3.15, not Zoom, is our weekly party. So I apologize. Tomorrow, let me back up. I said that tomorrow at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, was our second weekly um, Zoom party. But it's not. It's 3.15. So that's that. Um, and then Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, is our master class with Liz Landers, who is a local stager to me, who's amazing. And she is going, look, ladies, I was a listing queen. Everybody would say, Jan, how do you get the most beautiful listings? She is sharing. I share with her what I do, and I said, can you incorporate my stuff into what you do? And so she is bringing us a 35 to 45-minute um, amazing masterclass Thursday at 3 p.m. And for that, you have to sign up. 
Um, so um, again, go over to She's an Unstoppable Agent to sign up for that. You definitely want to be in that. Um, also, ladies, if you want the replay that um, of the passive income streams, um, we had a master class last Friday on um, that's, that spoke about three different passive income streams. If you want it, um, go ahead and write in here in the comments, passive income. Okay, so I can get that for you. All right. My account wasn't set up. And it, oh, good. Amanda said my account hadn't been set up properly, and now it is. Great. Dorothy says thanks for making it easier. Um, Jackie Rogers, thanks. Great info. I know need to know how to work Canva. Okay. Well, gosh, I'd love to do. I love Canva. Vanessa, great info. Very helpful info. Thank you, Jan. Charlie. So if I were doing a buyer's home meeting group, I'm sorry. So if I were doing a buyer's home buyer meeting for a group of people, do I first schedule a meeting and then when it's time for the meeting, I do host a meeting? No. Okay. So Faith, I know that's your nickname, Fides. Um, basically, once you've scheduled the meeting, so let's say you schedule a meeting for today at 8 o'clock, okay? And you make sure that the um, time zone is in your time zone, right? What you're going to do is you're not going to host a meeting at that point because it's already a scheduled meeting. So you're going to go to, let me see what it says. You're going to, when you log in, you're going to hit the cursor all the way on the right where it either has your picture or a gray box. Okay. Um, click on that. That will bring you to the screen. On the left hand side, it says meetings. So you click meetings and then from there you'll see the eight o'clock link and you just click on the link. Okay. So play around with it ladies because if you, if you took copious notes, um, I have actually shared every step of this process. Okay. Donna, great training step by step. Looking for more information. Okay, I will get that for you. Thank you for sharing, Amanda. This training was very much worth it. Yay, I'll pass later. You welcome Lucy. Claudia, yeah, how you doing? Thank you so much for joining me. And we have a few ladies who want passive replay. If you want the passive income replay, do me a favor and give me your email. So Linda Baker and Indiana Jules and Amanda Lysick um, and Patty Donovan and Kim Venable. If you can just give me your emails and if you don't want to put it on here, you can um, private message me and I'll get that to you. Okay. So I love bringing trainings to you ladies and be encouraged. This is not the recession of 2008. It is not. Okay. It sucks that we're in this position. If you're like me, like I kind of had a breakdown yesterday because I want to hug my grandkids, right? And I want to be able to like go out to eat and I want, it's so stupid, right? And I'm in a house that's beautiful with electricity and TV. So I had to get over myself, right? But this too shall pass and we're all pulling together and that's why I'm coming often and doing a bunch of trainings. So if you want to go to She's an Unstoppable Agent group, Click on videos, you'll see some trainings there, and also on, um, on up here on Jan. Um, I think that's it. So, my next opportunity to see you, if you're not my client, is um, tomorrow for the uh, 315 time together of community on Zoom, which would be a great practice for you. And then, if you want to chat further, you can catch me at chatwithjan.com. I have my schedule, my calendar in there. And so you just go to www.chatwithjan.com and you can grab some time with me. One thing I want to share with you ladies is that now is the time for you to up your game. Okay, everything that we went over today, most agents are not going to do this. Okay, they're going to make excuses and cry and, and get out of the business. Okay, so this is why you're going to thrive. Okay, I don't mean to be mean, but entrepreneurship is not for the faint of heart. I recommend that right now you either go to Calendly, Calendly, or Appointlet, Calendly.com, Appointlet.com, or something like that, a calendar scheduling app um, or website, and you go there and you um, put in when you will take appointments. And then as you are putting 
there in video or email or whatever, hey, I'm here for you. Tell them to grab time with you on chat with, um, you know, Karen.com, you know, um, or you can just use the, the link that, um, that you get from Calendly or Pointlet. I just made mine easy by going to GoDaddy and buying chatwithjan.com which makes it easy to share with people and then from there it takes so when you click on chatwithjan.com it actually takes you to my appointment calendar right so ladies I want you to up your game this is what I do all day long okay this is what I love to do all right that's it gotta run make it happen ladies good luck with those virtual appointments come back and rewatch this too because there's some really really great information this is gold all right talk to you later bye